Okay. It is uh, February 8th, whatever time it shows on the picture thing. It's February 8th, right? It's that time of day right there, okay? And I bought one of these, I can't remember, back in 2012 from Chris Tyler. I'll make you famous. His code name on the internet is Agent Orange. I think that's his eBay name as well. And uh, I bought one of these from him way back when. Never opened it because uh, it's pristine and all that. But then I saw this one on Buyee. That's B U Y E E Japan.com. And anyway, uh, this is missing one part. It, it's been double boxed, okay? And here's the front. <laughs> anyway, so but it's well, so I bought it, and I've never bought anything through Buy-E before. And when you buy something from, from them, they, anyway, you authorize them to, uh, that you authorize them to buy it. So they buy it, they get it, they put it in their warehouse, and then they charge you to overbox it, so this may be overboxed, right? And uh, so this is the overboxing, I'm guessing, of how it arrived to them, and they overboxed it to ship it to me. And so got some Nice wrap I can save. Now, as far as this showing up in the listing, of course it being so terribly old, it uh, they didn't power it with, it doesn't come with a power cord for one thing. The second thing is they did power it up with batteries, but and they only got the radio to work because the cassette didn't work. But of course, you know, that's, you know how it goes, right? Cassettes are never going to work because if you don't play your cassettes on a regular basis, then it's not gonna, not gonna work, right? So, and uh, so I'm just trying to preserve the bubble wrap because you know, this is just anyway. So did a nice job here, at least I think, of wrapping this unit. Okay. Now I did bring some batteries to plug into this thing. It is missing one somewhat cru crucial part, just an AM FM switch or lever. It's kind of a knob lever thing once I get this open. Uh, let's see here. All right, here's an opening. Okay, so we just come across here. There we go. Yeah. And, uh, well, it smells like electronics. <laughs> it was relatively clean in the listing. Well, and this was also featured in, I can't remember, some rock star had one of these. And this is an AM FM, AM FM cassette player mono uh, woofer and tweeter. But it has a, a special, well here we go. It's got a Waltz, Ballard, Bossa Nova Swing, Rock 1, and Rock 2, along with uh, some rhythm for the tape mic, guitar line, oh, that's right, it's a guitar amp. So you can use this as a guitar amp, all right? So anyway, so there it is. It's already got one screw. Look at that. There's one screw coming out, not even screwed in. Oh, boy. Okay, now that's interesting. Let's see here. It does have the battery cover, which batteries go in the bottom. Okay, and uh, anyway, so let me just bring this up close. Okay, so this is for the face. Well, you can't see this too well in the, the dark because of the lighting. Let's see, but with the YouTube people, I've got my handy dandy zoom thing. Let's see here. Uh, I hold this up and then get the zoom. 
There we go. All right. Looking like a good zoom. Okay, so here it is. Looks like that. Bye. There, can you see that full screen and the thing there? All right, looks like that. It's got, I don't know, I can't see that. The, the thing is like eight feet away, roughly. Okay, there's nothing to be seen on the back except for the logo, which really won't show up in the video thing, although we can try just briefly. See how good my zoom is. Well, there we go. Yeah. <laughs> Don't know how well that shows up, but if I hold it steady long enough. Okay, too much fun. Come back to about there. So, alright, so once again, that's what it looks like on the front. Can I zoom in on that? Oh, yeah. Well, that's that's pretty pretty close. All right. Um, well, okay, there it is. And then here are the well, that is the business end. That's the business end. That's the tape end. Who cares? And then here's the front. All right. So here's the front. Hopefully, yeah. Hopefully you can see that there. Okay. And, uh, anyway, so much for that. Let me just take it back to about there, okay? And let me get some batteries and put them in here. So I got the right size. It looks like it takes only four batteries. It's only a six-volt model. Oh, my gosh. Okay, I've got some, uh, okay, these are... Uh, well, let's see here. Is it going to say it on there? Yeah, so, well, I, I can just do it. There's one. Here's another one. That. This one here. Now in there. Okay. He said he powered it up. Let's see here. Off tape. Rhythm tape. Hmm. How do you turn this thing on? Okay. On, on, on. Okay. Radio. Um, radio. Except the physically, mentally impaired. a ton of money on your cell phone bill. I'm a pure talk customer. There's a lot of reasons for it. First of all, I don't want to spend 80, 90, 100 bucks a month on my cell phone bill. Why would I? When I can spend $30 a month for unlimited talk, unlimited text, and six gigs of data. $30 a month. And I know that if I go over on data usage, Pure Talk doesn't charge me for it. Pure Talk is the top-rated wireless company by Consumer Affairs. The absolute best customer service team based right here in America. You need to make the switch. Do you realize you could be spending or saving almost a thousand bucks a year if you switch from AT&T, Verizon, or T-Mobile to Pure Talk? Grab your phone, dial pound two five zero, and say Mike Gallagher, and save fifty percent off your first month. Dial pound two five zero, say Mike Gallagher to Pure Talk. Simply smarter wireless. If you've fallen behind in your credit card payments, well, the FM is on AM, so.
Well, I didn't realize it, but this has only a, the scale is one of these 90 to 76 FM scale. All right, and then the AM is, you know, your 530 to 1600, so I didn't realize that, but that's not the reason why I got it. I got it because it's got a cassette deck, and I like to play my cassettes. And then it also has all these other fancy features, so got batteries in it. Let's see, if we hit eject, we hit, I don't hear anything, so hit uh, stop. I can hear the motor running, but it won't lock in position. I don't know why, but okay, pause. Okay. And it's got an ISS button, which is your interference suppression system or something like that. Okay, well, it's complete. It's just missing the one knob here. Now I'm curious if the other model that I've got from Chris Tyler has got the full spectrum of FM or not. Okay, well, I'll need to unbox that and see, but uh, this is a, you know, like I said, it's a, a rhythm capsule thing. It works. Radio works. Tape deck needs a belt, I'm sure. Let me uh, zip, zoom this back in. All right, so, yeah, so now wait, let's go back just a bit. All right, so, yeah, that's it. It's that big. Looks like that. And what's on this end? Well, okay, on this end, this is the uh, this is the knob that's missing. Is a lever knob that goes up in here, and it's it's missing. But I was like, okay, I just switched it like you just saw me with my Super Leatherman to get the FM to going. And we've got what uh, AC cord, six volt in and all that. So, I've had too much fun. I don't want to bore you because someone else said I was boring. <laughs> okay, well, I've had too much fun here. A lot to play with, lots of buttons to play with. Alright, so I've had fun. Good day, bye-bye. Hope you enjoyed. I have something more to, something different to play with. And, uh, let me see here. I happen to have a, well, I have a Sony similar to this in size somewhere in here. Um, hmm. Did I? Well, I have so many radio. Oh, there's those Sonys. I thought I had a great big black Sony. Well, I didn't get it down beforehand. Wait, is that it? Unless Gen Electric. Well, I'll find it and put it together with this. I just don't know where I went to. Well, is it down here? Oh, God. No. I don't know. Well, <laughs> here, I got a, there's another mono, not the one I'm looking for, but Here's another mono Sony uh, CFS 200. Yeah, well, too much fun. Yeah, well, here. Let me wide this one out because and say goodbye. All right, so it's fully widened out. Okay. Got a Facebook video. Got this one going on. And here's another screw that came out. It must have flopped out when I was getting it all out, so another screw. Alright, so good day, boy. Hope you enjoyed. Bye-bye.